Hi Saints, my name is McEarl Dave Andres. And my name is Jocelyn Bonello. Welcome to St. Martin's University. Welcome home. St. Martin's University was founded in 1895 with its first student, Angus McDonald. It first began as an all-boys high school, then all-boys high school and college, then became a co-ed college, and in 2005, St. Martin's became a university. We are founded by the Benedictine monks, and in our traditions, practices, and ways of life, try to emulate the rule of St. Benedict with our four core values, community, faith, reason, and service. This building here behind me is Old Main. Let's go inside! Old Main was the very first building at St. Martin's which included residence halls, chapel, cafeteria, and classrooms. Today, it contains numerous professors' offices, as well as Office of Admissions, Registrar, Public Safety, Bookstore, Financial Aid, President and Provost Office, and Career Center. The Career Center is where students and alumni can work with Ann Adams and Alyssa Nastasi to find jobs, internships, upcoming career fairs, and help with resumes and cover letters. St. Gertrude's Cafe is located in the first floor of Old Main. Bon Appetit serves a wide variety in the cafeteria, ranging from salad bar, sandwich section, grill, showcase, international dishes, and so much more. For breakfast and lunch, students pay with flex cash, while daily dinners and weekend brunches are charged with meal credits. Both meal credits and flex cash are loaded in students' IDs, which are also used to enter buildings on campus. Welcome to the St. Martin's Abbey. This is where they celebrate student liturgy, as well as where our monks do their daily prayers. Our Benedictine monks pray with the community three times, morning prayer, noon prayer, and evening prayer. They celebrate daily masses where the community is welcome to participate, while student liturgy is 7 p.m. every Sunday. There are many other prayer spaces on campus. In Old Main, we have the Muslim prayer room, which directly faces Mecca. We also have an inclusive non-denominational prayer room in Spengler and a Eucharistic Adoration Chapel in Barron. For help finding churches around the Lacey Olympia area, you may visit the Campus Ministry Office in Old Main 316. This is O'Grady Library where students can borrow books, rent out study rooms, and visit the Center for Student Success. Here, students can borrow books from our partner universities and rent ebooks. At the Center for Student Success, students can meet with peer tutors for help with homework or essays, or meet with staff for help with class schedules, or if students need additional services, they can meet with our trusted Disability Support Coordinator. Right behind me is Sebula Hall, where our engineering, informational technology, and computer science students have majority of their classes. Let's take a look! The Hall and Inge Marcus School of Engineering includes mechanical engineering, civil engineering, informational technology, and computer science. Sebula Hall received platinum recognition in leadership in energy and environmental design from the U.S. Green Building Council. The building's partial incomplete interior covers help our students see what is necessary in a building. Our school competes yearly in various events in the American Society of Civil Engineer Conference and make canoes out of concrete. With a Panowix foundry next door and makerspace on campus, our students are able to get hands-on experience in the field and design of their choice. Ernstorf Center is our newest building here on campus and it completes our STEM complex. Ernstorf Center opened this past fall and is home to all our science classes and labs. The building houses our chemistry, physics, and biology suites. Here, students are able to participate in indoor labs or walk to the nearby wetlands and forests for outdoor lessons. The building also has an atrium where students can meet for study groups or hang out after class. Welcome to Parsons Hall where we house almost all first years as well as a few of our upperclassmen. Parsons is the newest residential hall on campus. The west wing and the bridge is designated for first years and the east wing is for upperclassmen. Unlike other residential halls, Parsons has a convenience store where students can purchase snacks, beverages, and other essentials with flex cash. Here we're at the Charneski Recreation Center, also known as the Rec. The Rec has three basketball courts, free weights, an indoor track, dance studio, and cardio machines. Here, students are given the opportunity to participate in various activities to maintain a healthy lifestyle. The Saints Outdoor and Recreation, or SOAR program, is free to all students and hosts several hiking and ski trips throughout the year. Students are also given the chance to play intramural sports like basketball, volleyball, flag football, and indoor soccer. Here we're at the Tub, or Troutman Union Building, where we have our ASMU meetings and other campus activities. ASMU, or the Associated Students of St. Martin's University, meets every Thursday at 11 a.m. to discuss students' needs and updates from important offices on campus. The Tub is also home to Campus Life and the Service and Immersion offices. If you're interested in getting involved on campus, this is the place to be. Here are the many clubs on campus that all students can get involved in.
And here are the list of sports available at St. Martin's University's Division II program. Welcome to Harnin, where we have the largest lecture hall. The largest lecture hall on campus holds about 80 people. Harnin is also home to our student-run newspaper, Bell Tower, the Diversity and Equity Center, Veterans Center, and Mugs Bean. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed the tour. See you in the fall.